Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 70 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Hey, hey, look at this, episode 70, I can't believe we're already at the point where we're going to have another world download. I better clean up this mess that I've made around here and like actually have something presentable for you guys to download. I've only got one episode, so that's probably not going to happen. Seriously. But, uh, I will do my best. Uh, so what were we doing last episode? We were working on resonant upgrade kits, which, as I recall, we taught it how to make Lumium, right? Um, yeah, so we know how to make Lumium gears, which is good. So all we really need for the resonant upgrade kit now for the final upgrade level is Enderium, um, which we can get... We have to get Enderium with the induction smelter by crafting it with sand. So in two Enderium dust plus sand two enderium ingots with a chance for some slag uh the other option here is obviously this stuff which is an odd way to make the recipe work i don't know how that came about that's a weird thing but i'm thinking this is the route we're going to want to take so enderium blend uh is made you get four of them for two tin a silver a pulverized platinum dust and a bucket okay cool so that's what we're going to want to work towards today, is getting Enderium. And Enderium, as we know from previous versions of this game, is uh, used for all kinds of good stuff. So let's teach you how to make the thing that I want to make. And we're going to need more patterns, obviously. Can I just get, like, a stack? That would be super. And for now, I'll just take 10-ish of you. And, oh wow, are we out of appetite? Sweet. We are out of appetite. We have some appetite, but we're out of appetite. So let's do this. I don't feel like we need appetite anymore at this moment. There's no need for the um, fertilizer anymore because we're doing actually probably quite well. Yeah, we've got 70 stacks of wheat. I think we'll do fine. And I can then come in here and cancel appetite. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Fixed. Uh, so that's good. Now we're going to need resonant buckets, right? So this stuff is easy. We're going to need pulverized platinum silver dust or dictionaries allowed, right? So do we know how to make the silver dust? Yes. We know how to do tin, obviously. We set that up last episode, I believe, uh, to much hilarity. Um, platinum. We're going to have to teach it how to pulverize platinum. And that would just be a platinum ingot. We'll teach it that one. And then finally for Enderium, we're gonna have to teach it how to make resident ender. Cool. Um, so what I'm gonna say here is, I believe it's four ender pearls unless the recipe changed. It doesn't look like it has. So four ender pearls and a bucket. And let's put in this extract, this insert. You're allowed to have ender pearls now. And you can still get your bucket. So doing this should give me what I want. Nice. All right, so that should be cool now. So if we pop over to this bad boy and we check our bucket, we should have a resonant ender bucket. That goes here. Okay, and then we should be good to go. So the pulverizer for this guy. Uh, this pattern is just regular crafting table pattern. This crafter for the resonant ender. And this guy goes in there. And that should be cool. Um, and then the last thing we need is Enderium recipe for smelting. And we'll just say that, hey, uh, you can totally do this. So I'm going to remove you from the output here. But this guy needs to go into this guy? The induction smelter. Yes. Cool. So now if I asked for Enderium times four... 
it should start doing things. Cool. I've got my resonant ender bucket, so that's neat. Uh, you're going to pulverize the things you need to pulverize. You're going to magma crucible your stuff just to make life a little bit easier. Um, well, I'll let you do your thing. Do I want acceleration on this maybe a little bit? Now, shortly, we'll be able to upgrade these machines. Two ender pearls left. One ender pearl left. There we go. Neat. Zoinks. And then you're going to cook, in theory, in a moment. Unless you're still running. Nope. 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 Induction smelter? This is the part where you're supposed to run. In theory. What, uh, what you doing? What's going on? Actually, yeah, no, I'm really confused why this is working. It's weird. Isn't that weird? It's a little weird. You, sir, are gonna be canceled. So you've got your resonant ender buckets, right? 10 and silver. Let's reteach it this pattern just in case we were having the same problem that we had last episode. So we're going to say you, the silver, and the tin, but not. All oh, right, you should not be in this pattern. That's why. There's your problem. There's your problem. You need to be in here. Big time derp on Dyer's derp part. So now Enderium times four? Because you should have everything you need. Pulverized platinum processing? Oh, right. I, I, I took out this stuff. Now it's cooking. Okay, because I had the dust on me, it had to repulverize things. Man, I'm full of derps this morning, aren't I? So that thing ran, apparently. So if we check Enderium in here now, we've got four. Beautiful! Which means that finally I can make my resonant upgrade kit. And finally, finally, I want to make the resonant conversion kit. So by crafting all these things, we should be able to kick into motion the auto crafting of a full blown resonant conversion kit. Ready? Start. Things are running. Now, most of what I need is probably already in here, so that's good news. Cool. And now I should be able to fully upgrade, for example, this guy. Sweet. That's probably not the one I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to upgrade the Magma Crucible. That's what I meant to upgrade. Can I get them out? I don't think I can. Yeah, totally meant to do the Magma Crucible there, but oh well, I'll live. Um, are you still bound? You are now. Sweet. All right, let's do another one. Because this time, Resonant Upgrade Kit. Resonant Conversion Kit. That's the one I want. So you have a lot of things to craft, but it should all work. So, yeah. Neat.
Go acceleration one, go. Not bad. You're doing your thing. The Magnet Crucible is probably the slowest part of this process. Uh, which we will be speeding up once we get the Resonant Conversion Kit. And I stopped derping. Cool. Now you should... You're making the Enderium. Nice. Because we had an extra bucket. That's why I didn't have to do that. And if we check, Resonant Conversion Kit. Sweet. That is awesome. And working like a charm. All right, so now we can throw some augments in that guy and speed it up. So, augments I'd like to have. Definitely this guy. Increases maximum power usage and processing speed. Some other things we could get. Uh, increases the chance of secondary output. Uh, destroys the secondary output when it's over a stack. Um, more food cooking. Uh, additionally, get one smelting ores. This guy is extra processing, which is kind of neat. We might want to get into quadding ores. We can quadruple ores. I wonder if it works with Yellorium. Um, Yellorium dust. So there's a sag mill and a crusher recipe for it, but I don't see one for. So that's a bummer. It doesn't seem to work with Yellorium. That's a bummer. Other augments include, uh, these things are neat. Increases yield from smelting ores. Let you get some stuff in the phytogenic guy, which we might look into. Haven't I been wanting mushrooms and nether wart? Yeah. That might be a ni nice, fun way to get more nether wart. That might be cool. Um, yeah. I think the main one that we want to teach it, though, right now, is how to make this dude... Now, do you know how to make redstone reception coils? You do. So this should actually be quite easy. I should just say, hey, give me four of these augments. Easy peasy. Come over here, throw them in the magma crucible. Boom. He can hold more RF now, which he'll start recharging in a moment. Sweet. And now, check out how fast this thing is. So if I want another resonant upgrade kit, or conversion kit, look at all the things we have to craft. But look how fast this should be. Oh yeah, that's what's up. So much better. That is cool. That's even faster than it was with my acceleration one before. And it seems like it's going to work pretty well. It's a bummer that Resonant Ender has that white texture. It's supposed to be green. I don't know why it's doing that. It must be some kind of weird thing. So then you're cooking up your Electrum, which is a little bit slow, but we're going to upgrade it. Nice. So now we should get Resonant Conversion Kit, and if I want my Augments times four, it's going to speed this guy up. Cool. So this is all working quite well. Much faster, right? Remember that the amount of RF stored in the capacitor determines the power usage, which determines the speed. So it'll be even faster once we have a fully filled up capacitor. Neat. I'm liking it. Everything does seem to be working out pretty well, actually. We'll speed it up even more. You're pulverizing. You're doing your thing. Wow, that was fast. Did you guys see how fast that was? Now they're all resonance. Except for that compressor, which we haven't had to use yet, so that's fine. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're making progress here, guys. All right, uh, back in, let's say, a moment once I decide what's next. 
So I've wanted to try this machine out for a little bit now, and I think it's about time that we do it. So I'm making myself a quick Lumium gear, which should actually be pretty quick to craft, considering we just upgraded all those machines over there. Um, should not take too long. Psst, let's go. Smelting, it's crafting. We've got a gear. Phytogenic Isolator. Sounds cool. Um, now I'd like to check out Enderium, or the, the Resonant Upgrade conversion kit dude so you make that whole thing uh while that's going let's check out how this phytogenic isolator works uh infuses plants with sun and fertilizer sweet um and it makes them grow i think is the gist so let's say we wanted to do something with i don't know nether wart Right? And mushrooms too, right? Remember we said at one point we wanted to use mushrooms for something? Um, now, which mushroom recipe did I use over here? Which mushrooms am I keeping in stock? It's, it's, the, it's the brown ones, right? Um, so mushrooms and nether wart. Not that this is specific to this, but just being able to keep these guys in stock, I might want two phytogenics. So I think we need that to be the case. Or, or do I need two? Do I need two? Good question. Um, so what are the usage details of this thing? Um, so you need sun, so it needs to be able to see the sun. Uh, it needs stuff. So like, what if I used mushroom, right? There should be a phytogenic generator, isolator, and doohickey thing here. So I get 10 mushrooms if I use the fluxed phytogrow. Regular phytogrow gives me two mushrooms and six from phyto from rich. So two, six, and 10. That's pretty much what we're looking at here. Uh, and for nether wart, it's the same deal. Two, six, and ten. So for phytogrow, we need sawdust, niter, and slag. Cool. So we definitely need slag. Now slag we can get from induction smelting ores or pulverized dust. Okay. That's cool. With a 75% chance if you use rich slag. If you're doing it with sand, it's a 25% chance. So any other way to get slag? So it's basically any any induction smelting process. This gets a slag, but only at a 25% chance. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Cobblestone and sand make stone bricks with a 100% chance to get slag. Now we're talking. That's what I'm going to talk about. All right, cool. So if there's a 100% chance to get slag there, we can do that. Uh, so let's teach that to this. So slag. We got cobblestone and sand. Okay, gives you a 100% chance of stone bricks. And a 100% chance of slag. That is the win. So if I came over here and we installed this guy here and I said I wanted slag times 20, I should 100% chance get it here, right? So every time it crafts, we should get slag. Yes, we'll get a side effect of stone bricks, but hey, that's okay with me. I kind of use stone bricks every now and then. That's working, and I like that. And it's quick, too, because speed upgrades. Nice. I had no idea. Now I do. So now that we know that, let's see what... So that's the easy part. Niter or saltpeter? Now, we could also use pulverized charcoal if we don't want to use sawdust. And that gets us 12. So we'll probably do this recipe for it. Okay. Um, so we'll teach you how to function. I keep going over there to do the teaching when I should be doing it here. Right? So charcoal dust, right? Does it have to be charcoal dust? Can coal dust or coal powder work? Really, it has to be charcoal dust? All right, well, then let's do this. We're going to want you to know how to make pulverized charcoal. Okay. We need charcoal first. 
Um, mm, I guess I can just teach it wood to charcoal, right? Hey, what's your problem, stranger? Machine in use. I'll figure that out. So this guy can go down here with the regular crafting and smelting process. Somebody have a problem over here? Ah. See, I had a feeling that might happen at some point. I had a feeling that might happen at some point. Things just got out of order. Um, gonna have to keep an eye on that. That's the same problem that we have over here and a couple other places. Uh, that blocking mode tends to fix. All right, so now if we ask for charcoal. Nice. And then up here, we say pulverized charcoal with saltpeter and slag. Makes this dude. Okay, so that's good. The only question is niter. We taught it. We taught it how to keep niter in stack, right? Or in stock. We did. We did this, right? So we should have tons of niter. We have a stack, right? We'll always keep a stack of niter in stock. That's what we set up. Beautiful. Uh, so with that in mind, let's check out the other types of phyto grow. So rich phyto grow requires. Aha. And fluxed phytogrow requires rich phytogrow in here. So this isn't tiered up. This just needs rich slag. So is there a better way to get rich slag? There's not a 100% chance for rich slag anywhere, is there? I would imagine not. 50% chance if you get redstone ore and sand in there. That's usually your best chance for that stuff. And I think we can bump that up. Gold and cinnabar gets us that. Okay. 20% chance from you. So there's not a 100% chance of rich slag anywhere, which is a bummer. Um, redstone ore gets it at a pretty good chance. Uh, but I don't think we have any redstone ore. Is there a nifty way to get it short of world gen? Not really. Unless we got our quarry doing like silk touch or something like that. So that's a bummer because I kind of wanted to use the, the good stuff. Though, I mean, this shouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, it's so straightforward. Like, it's, but all it's doing is doubling it. Like, I wouldn't mind getting, like, the 10x fluxed phyto grow. Let me think about if I want to do that. So we already set up silk touch downstairs, right? So if I took redstone out of the exporter and let's activate this bad boy for a minute, right? So he's already silk touching, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Cool. Let's let him run for a few minutes. Um, we're going to start getting redstone ore, which is cool. And probably in decent amounts. One thing I'd like to try is another augment type, uh, which is called this one. Auxiliary sieve. Machine secondary. Increases the chances of a secondary output product, right? So if I got one of these... Put like half of you in here and here. Would this increase my chance of getting slag? Missing, oh, rock wool. I need rock wool? Oh, you're killing me. Killing me. And you don't know how to make redstone servos, which you should probably learn how to make. Uh, so rock wool is what? I think it's just, it's it's something to do with slag, right? Uh, one of them had bars at the top. Is it gray? Light gray. There we go. Uh, slag. You just smelt slag and you get rock wool. Okay, cool. Cool. 
So regular slag gets rock wool. We'll do that. Can I get you now, or do I have to change the recipe to be... Nope, you're good. So that should get me that. Cool. So now I just need my redstone, which I've got a lot of already, and sand. So if we pop over to here, what I'd like to try, what I'll probably do is add another induction smelter over here at some point if this works. If it doesn't, then we'll just go with speed upgrades, right? Um, so if I put you and you in there with these guys, right? What are the chances that we're going to get this at a nice rate? I wish it would tell me here, but we got one, so that's exciting. Wow, we got two from that. Neat. That's actually seeming to be pretty good. It's actually seeming to work really well. So I don't know if I'm going to like export redstone. Like, I don't know if I want to do that. What I'll probably do. Yeah, let's, let's let's yeah, let's do that. Let's make another one of those induction furnaces, right? That's what we'll do. We'll make another induction furnace. You are probably doing a whole bunch of things right now. Speed upgrades, there you go. And that's what we'll do. We'll have a second one dedicated to processing redstone. That sounds cool. So an induction furnace. One of you. You're good. We're gonna want a resonant upgrade kit. Sweet. Okay. Uh, this induction smelter, I'm going to replace this dude because I haven't found a need for him yet. I'm not saying that I don't need one. I'm just saying I haven't found one yet. Okay. Uh, the back will be input. The bottom will be output. You're going to get upgraded. You're going to get the secondary sieves. Okay. And then we'll have an export bus. And an import bus. Okay. The importer can go here. The exporter will get sand and redstone on the back. Okay, so sand and redstone. Sweet. That's pretty cool, right? And then that'll just process all the redstone. So that'll be the automated redstone processing that we're going to need for that, right? So any and all redstone that shows up in the system, it'll keep sand in at all times. And then any redstone we get will get dropped in there. That sounds cool. Um, so that'll get us the rich slag we need, which was easier than I thought, because I forgot that I made this silk touch. And I'm glad that I did. Go die or go. All right, so you guys go away. How much redstone ore did we get? Wow, not a bad amount. Slag? Getting there. All right. So let's teach it the rich Phytogrow recipe then. So I'm going to remove Phytogrow, and we're going to teach you rich Phytogrow. OK, and that's going to be you. But you're going to use pulverized charcoal, saltpeter, and rich slag. Saltpeter is the one that we're keeping in stock, or niter. Let's just put niter in there just to be safe. All right. And that'll get us 12 rich fighter grow, which is actually a decent amount if you think about it. That's enough to get like a lot. Now the last step for fighter grow will be getting an energetic infuser, which I don't think I've actually made yet. So let's get one going. So that's gonna require a couple of you. And one of you. A couple of these bad boys, one of this thing and we're cool and you know what i wouldn't mind one of these resonant conversion kit start so you cook that up uh we've got this guy we're gonna want our augments as well for speed upgrades okay um and the resonant thing will cook 
Sweet. So you're fast, you're working, you're doing your job. Over here, we'll put this dude. Okay, uh, we're gonna want an interface. Or, uh, no, a crafter, that's right. And we're gonna want an import bus, importer dude. Okay, and we'll come over here and just teach the recipe of this. Okay, you go in here. This thing can charge stuff, by the way, in general. Nice, you. Nice and fast. So now, um, if I were to request like 10 of you, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Nice, look how quick that is. Go augments, go. All right, now we're talking. And this thing's still cruising? Working beautifully. So now you come with me. Let's find a spot for this. So let's give this thing a try, shall we? Uh, in theory, we put one of these in here. If we put one another word in, this should be working because you can see the sky. But you're not working because you need water. Haha. -ha. Uh, okay, cool. You need a lot of things, phytogenic isolator. You're about to be picked up and moved. Because you need a lot of sides um, to do what you need to do. Uh, so you're going to need sky access one. All right, you're going to need a couple export buses, at least two, and a crafting card upgrade. You're going to need bucket of water exporters let's go uh, you're gonna need so we need a side to put the water in we need a side to put the phytogenic grow stuff in we need a side to put the nether ward in and then we need a side to extract the items from so that's four sides we need to access on this bad boy? I think that's accurate. Wow, that's a lot of sides. Uh, so let's get to work. Uh, part of me thinks I might phantom face this, but I wanna get the basics up and running for you guys and maybe we'll phantom face and make it look nice next episode because we're actually past the wrapping up point for now. And I would like to get this project finished before I give you guys the world download. If I wasn't doing a world download, I would probably say, ah, we'll fix it next time. But so exporter, exporter. So you are going to be on the right. I'm assuming I can put water in here through an exporter side. You can be here. So if I did this and put this in here with the crafter, then you'd be cool, right? Um, we're gonna want an importer on the bottom. Did I ask that to be made? I don't think I did. Um, you're gonna be an exporter in fluid mode that has water in you. We're gonna want our cables running over here. Technically that shouldn't be needed. Importer's ready. Okay, so you should now be exporting these. Nice, you see that happening? Beautiful, so this is crafting what it needs to keep this guy in stock. See, nice. Uh, and you are supposed to be exporting water and you are, nice. So if I put another wart in here, why are you not working? I understand that you need to see the sky. I don't know what you need from the sky, but you can see it, I promise you. 
Why are you still like, I can't see the sky? How much more sky do you need, buddy? All right. I don't know how much more sky he needs to see. It's neat. Uh, back in a minute. So I think I'm wrong about what that little icon means. Uh, I need a tin heat plate. So I finally do need plates. So I need that compressor. But I decided while I'm here, I'll just do this. So that I can get this guy ready. Gear, Electrum gear. You are lying to me. I thought you said I needed an Electrum gear. Oh, it needs to be a silver gear. Luckily, that's easy enough to do. I think I just need... I don't actually need sunlight. I think I just need to actually put my proper augment in here. Um, I should probably do a resident upgrade kit. Resident conversion kit. Yeah, do that for me, please, would you? Just real fast. Like, well past wrapping up point, I know. But things and stuff. We'll automate this next episode with hintity hint hint and hey if you guys want a little fun project you can kind of do that yourselves because you should have a pretty good idea how to do it there's one thing that's going to be different from what i did with my quartz and glowstone process and i will leave it up to the viewer to figure out what that difference is how's that cool so if you guys can automate it on your own mad props to you if not, we'll probably do it next episode. But I at least want to see this working. So that should actually be really close to being done. In theory. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. We've got to wrap up here, guys. Come on, what's with the slowness? More ender pearls needed? Why do we need more ender pearls? All right, so you're installed, you'll be here. And out of curiosity, what kind of augment speed can we get? These are quick to craft, luckily. If I wanted these guys, nice. So that is actually, drains a bit of power. Um, it's, a, it's not that fast, but it also doesn't have its internal buffer filled yet. Oh, and I should probably give you power. That would be nice. Nice, look at you. That's cool. So at full speed, this is what it looks like. You ready? Dun, 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 go. That's pretty quick. I'll take that. And that gets me lots of nether wart. Now, I need a second augment to handle mycelium substrate. So if I want, so I'm going to need another one of these guys to handle. So I'm probably going to need to move this, but at least we have the foundation of what it's going to be. So next episode, we'll automate getting mushrooms and nether wart. Similar to what I did with the quartz thing, but a little bit different. Uh, and we're also going to have to figure out a couple different changes there. I might do phantom faces just to make the wiring nicer. All right, for now, Daryl20, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time. As always, world download because it's episode 70. So go look for that on Curse. All right, guys, take it easy.